Our dear Dutch granny is surprised how delicious it is. And Romulo and Man and Grace are equally delighted. Yes, it is zucchini or courgette once again. It is zucchini puto or steamed courgette cake. Join us here on Channel 1 for some learning, ingenuity, and fun. Let's begin. I don't have a grater, so I'm using this fork and it works. I'll mention the ingredients as I put them. We need two eggs for this. And sugar according to your taste. But in my convention, I use one for sugar for every cup of flour. It's proven to be balanced. So for this, one half cup sugar. Ideally, I should be mixing the dry ingredients first, but conditions are not ideal here. I don't even have the right uh, <laughs> utensils, but it's no excuse for making puto with zucchini or courgette. I'll be using two cups of flour, so that requires three tablespoons or three teaspoons of, what's this? Uh, What's the <laughs> speaking powder? Okay, let's mix them here. Speaking powder and the flour here. This is approximately two and a half. I'll be providing the equivalent in metric in the description box. And some more. That's three teaspoons and some salt. That's one four teaspoon Cinnamon. for every cup of flour. Same amount for the cinnamon. I think it's good to add some ginger to this. Manangada the ginger mo. Look, this is a new way of mixing dry ingredients. Not new way, but ingenious way. I think I'll just add the ginger later. Okay, only that we can add it to the with ingredient. Do I have them all now? Yes. Man and Grace comes with the ginger. I thank you, Man. Here is the ginger. I don't have a grater for this ginger, but nothing can stop us from making this puto. Just one four teaspoon of ginger powder. I was looking for this fork, it's here. <laughs> we use two cups of flour, so that would be that requires one half a cup of oil this much. That's one half cup. One fourth for every cup. And ideally, uh, milk, it would require around two thirds of a cup. But since uh, the courgette is wet, I'll be, uh, I'll be careful with this. I'll add, I'll just add what's enough to make it a good butter, not too wet. We don't even have a good mixer. I'll transfer it to a better mixing bowl. Before we forget, let's add some uh, vanilla flavoring. Just a small uh, amount, say one fourth teaspoon. And how about preparing our steaming seam? <laughs> steaming seam, yeah. For more steps, a bit. Yeah, some suffix. This is uh, cake after all, so it should be visually pleasing as well. <laughs> I hope I don't offend you with the level of hygiene under the pergola. We are at the farm, we are at the garden. This 
it's an enhancement. My experience is that when cooking puto, the, uh, although these are plastics and they're expected to be non-adhesive, they still stick. That's why to play safe, I'm applying oil to the molds. I think we can fill the molds now. Just two turns. It's windy here. I think we better move in wars. Let's check our time. It's 9 a.m. 10 minutes would be enough at high steam to cook it. And then Madame Grace came curious and excited. She wants to see it. Look at that. Oh, oh no toothpick here, so we're using a twig. <laughs> twig check. <laughs> oh. for safety. Yes. Uh, let's invite more risk. Let's put it on top of the bicycle. No. <laughs> 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 ah, yeah, yeah. Let's set it to a side for now. Uh, let's uh, uh, cook the second batch. We'll just do a fast forward, and here is our finish. Courgette or zucchini put, or call it courgette zucchini steamed cake. <laughs> for the complete experience. Look at that presentation in banana leaves. No, it's Kana. It's not banana leaves. <laughs> Madame Grace is there. Come here, Madame. <laughs> hey, this is Alclar. Yes. Wow. Our puto, zucchini or zucchini puto or courgette puto. Courgette. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the necessary equipment or utensils, yeah. but success anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Madame. Mm, no, yummy, no? yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> that. Do you think this is finished? Not yet. We have special toppings. Ultimately, the toppings was not needed. It was delicious by itself. Go on. See you on the next video. You're quite a here.